Good afternoon guys and happy Thursday to all of your sunshiny faces guys. Oh my gosh, I might fall asleep standing here right now. Um, and it's like not even 10.30 yet I don't think or it is just about 10.30. Oh my gosh guys. I got to everything on my planner with the exception of I didn't do any laundry. I am like caught up with laundry. I don't have enough to even run any load of laundry even with whatever's gotten dirty between yesterday and today. So um, I didn't end up doing that, but I am so pooped guys because I woke up eight o'clock this morning and I told Jack, I said, wake me up first thing in the morning when you get up. My dad was actually home today. Um, so I told him the same thing. Jack did come and get me up at about eight o'clock maybe right before eight o'clock actually um and came and took the dogs out and then i ended up getting up maybe about eight eight thirty or so i think me and him were both outside ready with all of our gardening stuff and started gardening um and weeding the flower beds and everything like that at about nine o'clock which best time to do it especially like I don't know how hot it got today but today was definitely one of the hotter days um and the best time to do it especially during that is you know early in the morning so you know 9 a.m I guess 8 a.m it's a really good time to be outside in the garden so um again we are up early got outside we did all five of the flower beds the two in the backyard and the three in the front yard so the one between like it's basically our sidewalk and driveway and like the house it butts up against pretty much and then also the one the big main one out in the main lawn um and then also to the um the side one next to the front door and then we ended up doing the two in the back as well which is the one right next to the garage and then also the one around the deck and we also weeded the vegetable gardens um and all of the raised beds so we ended up getting to all of that um and then jack actually he needed to weed we have right now like six beds pretty much i guess um, two full and then two half beds and one of the half beds does not have dirt in it um, because my dad had gone to Menards and a couple times and they've been out of dirt so this weekend when we went on Saturday they actually had topsoil and potting soil um, so we got three bags maybe of topsoil I believe and one bag of potting soil because we're trying to fill in the new bed so we can get some stuff planted in there I really want to get some zucchini planted in there so anyways, like I said, got to that. We ended up planting, um, or we ended up getting that stuff on Saturday. So Jack weeded that bed because although it didn't have any dirt or anything like that in it, um, it was full of weeds and grass that were just starting to come back up. So he pulled everything out of there and then put the new fresh dirt and stuff like that in. But four bags is not enough to fill our um, about one foot tall beds that we have. It's taken maybe about 10 or so bags, I think. Maybe a little bit more. I'm not totally sure. But anyways, um, we went back to Menards today, which I'll tell you guys about, but they didn't end up having any more at Menards either. So we have been like trying to get this bed filled in now for like several days weeks really since pretty much the beginning of june because um really like the end of may is pretty much safe of frost and um again we've been working on trying to get the beds in and everything like that but we haven't had dirt so we haven't been able to get you know them completely finished even though we have the stain in the wood and everything like that and been getting them put in but we don't have the dirt to fill in and my dad's like well i can keep adding more beds but we're pretty much just going to be at the point where we have the beds and no dirt or anything like that to put in them so anyways um yeah Jack ended up doing that and then like I said the bags that we did have ended up putting them in there then he ended up watering everything because everything looked like it needed a good watering um most of the stuff is like most of our stuff is pretty drought resistant and resilient and stuff like that so it does not need a lot of tending to or caring to um but he ended up doing that as well the grass too looks like it's been a little not quite as good but um it's supposed to thunderstorm and rain like a lot I believe on Saturday which will be good so that means that again everything will get a nice fresh 
fresh watering. So anyways, we ended up going to um, Menards then once I had finished weeding the last of the flower beds. My dad um, said, my mom actually, we were planning on going earlier um, in the week. I think we were actually planned on originally Monday at first and then on Wednesday that me and her were going to actually go to Menards. There's a couple little things that we needed to pick up and then also to get some window um, or some flowers for the window boxes. Which we have the one window box that's back out by our garage um, under our garage window and then the one in the front that's under our big front not a bay window it's like a <laughs> some big type of window um but anyway so we have the other one that's out in front so normally my mom the window boxes is one of the only really gardening things that she can really do right now but she had um some stuff that ended up coming up that she wasn't able to again go on wednesday so since my dad was home today and we needed to get some of those other things we decided we were going to go to menards and my mom was entrusting me to go and get the um, flowers for the bed or for the the flower boxes she can't do a whole ton without um you know especially on the ground without her neck and stuff like that really starting to bother her um and so she one of the good things that she can do is really the window boxes um just because it's up at her level and she doesn't have to be down on the ground and stuff like that um and so again that's normally kind of her her thing to do in the gardens and stuff like that because she loves gardening but again she just really can't anymore um so she <laughs> interested me like i said this year with getting all this stuff so i don't know how it's going to look my mom normally has a really good eye for like colors of how everything is going to look and is normally like oh we should get one of this and you know putting stuff like that so she also interested me in planting all this stuff too um so i ended up i don't know how i did <laughs> i don't know how it's going to turn out i don't know how any of it's going to look but um i got some stuff that she normally gets too so i was like okay this is probably good i got some potato vine and um we we have vinca vine that is growing in our um flower bed it comes back every year although i don't know that it's supposed to but it has come back consistently every single year for years and years and years and years um probably a good over a good decade um which i don't know that it's supposed to from my understanding it's an annual but it comes back every year for us like a perennial so um anyways like I said, we ended up, there was a, a little bit of that that I ended up putting in the window box and a handful of other stuff. Now, the stuff in the window box normally does not come back, but what happened was my mom put, planted it in the window box years ago, transplanted itself into the ground, and now is coming back like tumbleweeds in the <laughs> flower bed. It looks beautiful, though, um, and like I said, it's crazy, but it comes back every single year. Like I said, I don't know that that's to totally normal, um, but again it does so anyways um i got all of that stuff planted today then i was like okay that's it i need to take a shower while i was actually though planting the stuff in the window boxes we also got some mulch at the at menards and my dad ended up filling the vegetable gardens in because one thing that i've been really researching a lot about is best way to keep the water like water retention in um and that's a really good way along with too it also helps to keep like a lot of the um cool plants cool but also some of the you know warm weather crops also can keep them warmer as well um like their roots and stuff like that but it can also keep them cool um and also too because it retains a lot of water it's able to help um you know like i said on those really really hot days um you know some of that water i'll also in you know the soil and stuff like that so anyways um the we ended up getting mulch for the beds um which i think we got five bags in total maybe for our five beds and we actually had leftovers so i think once we finally get that sixth bed in we are going to fill that in also with mulch as well um so anyways end up doing all of that and then came inside i took a shower relaxed for a little bit then me and my dad actually ended up going back outside we ended up hanging up these string lights that are like um they're um solar powered that my mom got but they're kind of like string lights sort of they're like 
like globe balls sort of not really big they're real small ones um but they're solar powered and they kind of look like christmas lights basically but they do give off a pretty nice little glow nothing too crazy bright but it does like i said kind of give it like maybe a little bit I, I feel like it gives off probably the same like amount of light as like um christmas light sort of like icicle light sort of thing um so anyways we ended up getting the reason we went to Menards also was because we wanted to get little hooks, like the screw and hooks, and then put them into the, the top of the um, the deck. And um, then we're able to hang those lights on there. So I'll show you guys probably one day um, when they're on. I just, I'm not gonna go out there right now. And I also have a dog that probably would wanna run outside with me in the dark and go and, I don't know, find something to get into. So anyways, we ended up getting that. We also got a hanging plant uh, hanging um, planter that already had a plant in it that's supposed to be really I, as soon as I saw it I was like oh I bet hummingbirds really like that just because of the kind of flower it looked like I can't remember the exact name of it my mom wants to say something else than what I actually saw on the tag um, but I don't know it's maybe uh, something like that or maybe it was just called something different um, but it's probably something close to what my mom was saying so anyways I saw it and immediately I was like it was actually in clearance for ten dollars um and I think normally their baskets are like twelve dollars or more so I was like oh this is a good price I actually don't really know why it was on clearance because it looks like it's still doing really good and it's still has like blooms on it like um you know like it's just starting to bloom so I'm it's not like it's at the end of you know it's life cycle that I'm <laughs> gonna assume um but like I said as soon as I saw it I was like hummingbirds are gonna love this and I just filled up our hummingbird feeders yesterday or two days ago or something like that so I was like this would be so totally awesome if we could attract some hummingbirds and again I had the hummingbird feeders outside and so far I've not seen any I hung this thing up and not even an hour later I saw hummingbird on it and I was like oh my goodness this is so cool so um I told you guys too I don't think we had our hummingbird feeders filled up last year but we did the year before that and we saw hummingbirds all the time and um not all the time but probably on a consistent basis there was one that would always come normally to the one in the front um and it really liked that one so we're thinking about maybe getting um because they really haven't seemed to be super attracted to again the ones that we just recently filled back up and i think it's because they're really supposed to be attracted more to the base of the um like the hummingbird feeder and because ours are kind of sun you know bleached i guess they're not super bright and vibrant i'm thinking that's why they're maybe not very attracted to it right now so um i think maybe the next time we go to menards we might grab another two hummingbird feeders maybe um that they will hopefully be attracted to um without like using dyes in the the hummingbird food and stuff like that so anyways um we ended up like i said so we also got that basket and then um the hanging basket as well at menards and then a couple of other little things that my mom needed for a couple of things that she's doing in her office which i will show you guys most likely when we get to that brackets to mount her corner shelves for her tv i think i might have been telling you guys about that and then also too my great grandpa used to do this in the garage with um like baby food jars and maybe even also with like canning jars too basically mounting the lids into the bottom of like a cabinet and then um you can screw the lid you know the canning jar on and off so that's what my mom wanted to do but she needed to get the lids to fit the jars that she already has so th those weren't super expensive and a couple of other little things too i don't know why she needed s hooks for something and white spray paint and i don't know something else so we had a couple of little things too that we had to run to menards and get as well but anyways we ended up getting all that stuff came home um and then after that i ended up um i made dinner <laughs> i told you guys it was gonna be mac and cheese and hot dogs because i was stinking exhausted today up since seven or eight eight o'clock and have been outside in the garden sweating and dripping disgusting sweat everywhere and was just exhausted then had to go the like i said out to the store get other stuff done hung the stuff in the out in the yard and in the the deck 
and then once all that was done like I said just I did an easy dinner because <laughs> that was what it was gonna be and then I also after dinner um, or while I was eating I guess I uploaded the vlogs from today and then also edited it as well which I did not think I was gonna get to but I did and then after that I ended up washing the dishes from dinner so I got to dishes as well and everything on my planner so I am like done guys <laughs> I am so pooped I'm so tired I am so ready for bed I got a ton of stuff done it is nice to have all of the garden be nice and clear of everything and you know just like nice and you know no, it wasn't I told you guys too I was like I don't really think it's gonna be that bad it was not um, everything came up super easy all of the weeds that really were there and there weren't that many so it was a pretty easy clean I told you guys too I've been kind of like maintaining it a little bit like sometimes I'll just go outside and like pull some stuff out that I see that's pretty big um but again like and I did the back flower beds the two in the backyard recently so again that wasn't that big of a deal um but I was able to like get most of it done without any problem. I think honestly it only took me maybe about two or so hours, two to maybe three hours at most. Um, but that's for all five flower beds, which normally the one in the front, the front big front flower bed at times could sometimes take me at least an hour in itself. So um, the fact that I got all of them done in I think about two hours is pretty good. Um, and I did have some help from Jack as well. He cleared, cleaned up everything as I was ripping it out. And again, he did some little cleaning and stuff like that too. But I'm scared that he'd start pulling out actual flowers because he really doesn't know what weeds are versus what flowers are. Um, so I don't know that, like I said, he'd do so well in that. Um, but there was, I did have him do underneath our big burning bush out in the front. I was like, okay, this is what um, Creeping Charlie looks like because we have a problem with that especially around that bush. Um, and these are what hostas look like because all the hostas are underneath that bush as well. I was like, don't pull these up. Obviously leave the bush, but you can pull up all the creeping Charlie, you know, and this is what it looks like. And so he actually did a really good job. I didn't really even need to go back over that part because he pretty much did it himself. Um, so that was good. I didn't, like I said, he was kind of, you know, got to it all himself. But hopefully maybe tomorrow I will show you guys some of the outside stuff. It's just like today was, before I knew it, it was 7 o'clock when we were actually outside finishing hanging all of the, the um, things outside. And I was like, I need to go have dinner. I need to just like be done for today. And so, like I said, finished editing and uploading and all that as well, which I totally was not expecting to get to. I was like, eh, if I get to it today, I do. But, and I did. And it's just about 11. I've need to get in the shower well actually no i took a shower earlier i just need to brush my teeth and get to bed i'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give google thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all the recent shady faces tomorrow so bye guys